Hello everyone. If you're new here, welcome. I am Aquarian Simmer. If you're not new here, what's up? How you doing? Today we're here with more of Fated. And uh, it's the, the on the following day. Um, they went to the Fall Festival. You know, the romance was there between Marco and Jackson. Jackson spent the night. Actually, Jackson is still back there to be asleep. So, yeah. Actually, Jackson was, like, super duper tired. So, yeah. He'll be waking up here soon. Um, Marco's just brushing his teeth. Um, probably have him... I'm actually curious. Let's see what your enhanced smell finds around here. I'm getting the hang of this werewolf now. I'm getting the hang of it. Is there anything around? Not that I can see. Do I need to go outside? Chad, you never know with me. But, um... I don't really have anything specifically... I don't really have. Oh, what? It was due until Tuesday. You know what? Whatever, whatever. Oh, the, the boy. What I would do for writing skill level ten right now. Um. The main reason I say that I don't have much planned for the day is because well. If you look in the bottom of oh, well, on the bottom of the screen right next to the time of the season, we have a full moon tonight. And uh I'm scared. <laughs> what are you telling him goodbye for? He's still asleep. <laughs> uh, okay, yes, whatever. Um How about you go on a morning jog? Um, go for a little morning jog, you know, it feels good. I kind of, I'm not going to lie you guys, I thought about adding like their own workout equipment around here. I might, I don't know yet. Jackson, honey, how you feeling? Jackson actually did wake up and put some pants on. But, um, that other one, this one here, child, he said, this is my place. Um, you can come. I'll get you all situated before you go home. What is this? Become disliked by Rory. You really do not like her. Y'all, I kid you not. In the test save that I have, they literally opened the game and they were mid-brawl. I was like, what in the hell is going on? I had a lot of questions. What is this? Did you break something? Oh, he accidentally broke the toilet. Oh, you can fix it. Come on. He's like, oh my god, I gotta fix this for her He's, before he gets back. <laughs> you should do a pop in like surprise. You like surprise, honey? Mm -hmm. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> of course you would make apple salad. I would expect nothing less of you, my dear, dear child. But I do think it's super duper cute that they are just like head over heels for each other. I still find it funny that him <laughs> he just finds him annoying. And they are still he's it it's still fate. Speaking of Rory, are you part of the Wild Fangs? It wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me one bit. Chad, I did say I was going to give them make uh, these uh, new wolves that I found in my game. Said I was going to give them makeovers, and I surely have not. So, 
I like how I said that I was gonna give that to um um this girl and I didn't. Since it, you're awake and he's awake, um Oh, he's leaving. No, 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 no. Don't don't leave yet. Don't leave yet, Jackson. Wait. <laughs> Wait before you leave. Um <laughs> ask the <laughs> That's exactly what I would do to keep you from leaving. Um Give him a kiss goodbye before he leaves. You can give him an embrace too. He's like, I'll see you later. They did have plants to hang out later, so there is that too. He's like, I'm gonna miss you. Um, as you can tell, he did get a key, so there's that too. Since he was going home, we'll let him go home. Um, as for this, chat with client. The boy! <laughs> Just pulling an entire thing of cotton candy just out of nowhere. I forgot he had it, honestly. Okay, y'all, this is gonna be the first time I've ever done this, but I'm, well, one of the very, very, very few times I've ever done this. I'm going to change the music, like, mid recording because I'm not really feeling spooky right now so here we go I am so sorry I'm just not professional today okay you chatting with the client what do you want to do with Evelyn Speak of the devil, girl, where you been? Are you coming to my place? You all are. Why not just taking selfies on my porch? What do you mean that's in the way? What? He's like, what's up? Ooh, are we gonna go out to, oh. Watch Sky with Christopher, absolutely not. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, da 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 da. No, it's here. Let's cloud gaze, girl. I need some inspirations. Get on my computer. Child, the way I'm about to just say forget it, it's in her home. We have not paid our. We haven't checked our mail since we moved in. <laughs> see, look, see, their mailbox is empty. Now, man, I got a newspaper stuck in mine. P. 
period. I loved him so much. It's really giving big cousin, little cousin vibes. I love it. Okay, send everybody home. <laughs> We've got to get, I want to get at least two of these done before we hang out with Jackson later. I wish that they didn't get angry when they sent everyone home, but alright. Wh Why do I have a What? Why do I have her mail? Hello? Okay, well... Alright, well that's nice, that's lovely. Um... Did we, okay. Well, since it is getting a little bit on the later side, um, I have to finish getting the things ready for their hangouts before the balloon. So, like, I think his fury. Oh, his fury is rising. Okay, but anyways, um, I shall return. <laughs> so, you guys, after preparing everything, we would not have. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why is time moving so weird in my game? Anyways, pretty much after preparing everything, we really wouldn't have time for their little the little hangout between Jackson and Marco. So we're going to do it tomorrow in game. And um, yes, I um, Marco learned that this thing here, this moon dial, I guess we can call it. It's actually a um, spellcaster made thing. So, we learned that. Yes, my dear. Absolutely. I don't know why you called me to ask me that. Well, I mean, they do. They, they, they like each other, so. Oh. Huh, is right. I'm wondering if I continue to read this, if I will learn more and more about it. <laughs> I still can't get over Kyoshi. Yes, dear. Who? No, we don't know that person. Why is your cotton candy over here, Marco? Keep it in your pocket, Jesus. Wait a minute, what writing skill are we at? Oh, halfway to five, nice. And our entrepreneur skill goes up to, I believe. Yeah, by the time Marco got done with the work he wanted to get done today, they wouldn't have time to do that. Plus, with all the, um... Hmm. Moncasters and... Uh, no... Wait, what was it? Wolves Bane Secrets. Volume 4. Yes. See, he's just now getting that one done. So, yeah. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to get um, all of the stuff that was in the mailbox that does not belong to us. We're going to get it to where it rightfully belongs. So, you and this damn cotton candy. No, 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 no. Eat the cotton candy. Eat it. Because I'm sick of looking at it. He's like, oh, okay. I do want you to make a copy of this picture. I wanted to create a copy and give it to his boyfriend. Well, I can't call him that because that's not. Well, we don't have titles yet. To your boo friend. Rock your body and mind. That's perfectly fine by me. Oh yeah, we did find this little pot shard. And it's supposed to be something about turning and, you know, turning from one to the other. Jackson has also told Evelyn, do not leave. If you leave, leave before the moon rises. But I think she's going to go and spend the night with Kiyoshi or well, either Kiyoshi or Gemma, one of the two. Actually, like I said, I think the moon is full tonight and tomorrow. Yeah. Then. Uh, yep. Oh my god. Thanks. Oh my god. I need to do the calendar for this one. Oof, Lord. Actually, let me write that down. Y'all, if it's one thing, I will say to my content creators, keep a notebook uh, close to you whenever you're recording. It definitely helps if you need to like, you know, jot down a little note or something like that. You don't have to scramble for like pieces of paper and stuff. I will say Moonwood Mill is actually really I will say Moonwood Mill is really really pretty. It's so pretty. Oh my god. Hey yo that makes me th four ninety nine for a gallon of gas? Gas is like two something where I live. So, for those of y'all that's out here spending four, five, six, seven, eighteen dollars for one gallon of gas, just know my heart is with you, always. And I'm truly sorry. Are you a werewolf too? Because you seem to be around here. Yes, you are. Ciao. I don't know how I feel about this. Moonwood Mill is becoming overrun with werewolves now. I mean, you know, Christopher is one of the originals. We've got this dude here. There was a couple others that were here. Mm. Rory, I don't know what you've done to Jackson, but he really does not like you. <laughs> that man can't stand you. Oh, I wonder if we could go to this bunker. Was well, being secrets of volume five. I need to get a new keyboard. Oh, uh, is your boo outside or something? Your boo is in <laughs> on your bed. Okay. Um. So I just wanted to see before the moon came up. You guys are so cute. Um, ask the cuddle. 
Honestly, I think it's the beds. I think it, I don't think the cuddling works on CC beds. Oh, all right. Well. All right then. They're both very satisfied in their relationship or whatever this may be now. Listen, Jackson was just really, really worried about him, and I love that. Where's the moon? Oh, oh. No. There that girl is. Do we see the man on the moon? Or the man in the moon, or whatever they say? Has your fury gone up any? His fury has gone up a little bit. He's like, yeah, Angel, how are you feeling? Do we see any wolves running around? I mean, aside from Rory. I feel like that girl don't ever stay human. Wouldn't it be funny if Greg only came out during full moons? Bro. Oh my god, this is so bright. I wish that they could view it, but they can't, so... Enhanced smell. Let's see if we can uh, see any of these little secrets. No, I am not looking for love. Please do not suggest it. This man is sitting right next to me, and uh, if y'all suggest it again, he might lose his mind. Also, this is what you see when um, when werewolves like are next to their significant other. Um, why don't you guys? Go of course, you like flirtation. Oh, why are you angry? Oh, oh no! Rut row. Oh my god. Marco can feel the pull of the full moon. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Um, and see, I wanted them to cozy up next to the bonfire, but if they do that, then well, mm, mm, mm. um, how about y'all just snuggle on the couch? How about that? Oh, I just noticed there's little hearts in it. Oh! That's so cute. The Wolves Among Us. Oh, that, oh my good God almighty. Oh my sweet Jesus. It's going... Stop! Please! Well... I don't know what this means. I can't even click for him to do anything. Like, oh, okay, bro. I'm a little nervous. Jackson? 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 <laughs> Jackson, you're not any better. Please, I'm begging you. Oh, no. Well, oh, my baby's wearing a sweater. snarl at him no um smell here do not destroy that bed boy the way I'll bust you in your head if you do that um scavenge ground together I guess I just want to get y'all to. Did you just pee out here? Oh my god, he howled and I heard others. Where they at? Bro, the way that I was like, who?
I am very confused as is this a, a werewolf or a dog? I Any other wolves around here? Cause I was hearing them. Um Oh I remember reading about Brutus. Oh, I know something you guys don't unless you do that I'm gonna look real stupid. Try to regain control. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You can do it. Come on, I believe in you. You gonna regain control, because I believe in you. Please. I'm begging. I don't even know where these clothes came from, because I don't remember putting you in this. Please! Uh, well. Oh, my God. Oh, Jackson! I want to smell it. Okay. I think that Jackson, the the human in him, was like, "Hey, maybe I should, you know, get the hell out of here." <gasps> I'm now a prime werewolf. Yay! I say I like. I'm the one here. Um. Let's see. What is this? Um, I could do that one. I will not do that one. Hmm. I will be working towards this one. Yes, sir. But I think we're going to go towards Lunar Blessing. You know, it ain't a blessing tonight, I'll tell you that much. Can I destroy this? No? Okay. Um, why can I not smell anything? Oh, because I have to click wherever I want to go. Whoopsies! Anything? Anything? Uh -huh. No, sir, you will not destroy that big branch. I'm going to re-roll this as well. Do something romantic. Baby, we can do that as soon as we gain, regain control. Which I wish we could do again. I can't. When, when can I try it again? Please, I'm begging. What is this? Night wolf. Night wolves prefer sleeping during the day. Okay. Oh. Okay, hold on. Night wolves prefer sleeping during the day and gain fury when deviating from a nocturnal sleep schedule. Absolutely the hell not. That's what we're not going to do, baby. Maybe. I don't know. I just wish that you could. Oh, come on, come on, come on! You can do it. Come on. Damn it, Marco! <laughs> You're making this way harder than it needs to be. Kaylee's coming here and take care of yourself. You know what? I don't think I want you in there. Never mind. Let's. Get, can we explore the tunnels? Smell here, I guess. Not you getting on the bike. Y'all, this game is kind of scaring me. Because why is there a werewolf smiling while riding a bike? Oh. I don't know what this game is. This game is starting to scare me because why is my, my werewolf riding a bicycle when he has what is that Greg yeah that was Greg hey Greg how you doing oh 
If I can regain control, I could come up here and get some of this moon petal. I believe that moon petal. I believe that moon petal uh, helps with your fury or something like that. Oh, it's bubbles. It's the bubbles on the bike. That's cute. Anything? Ooh. Um. Why can I not scavenge the ground? Oh, look, it's a rat. Can... Never mind. I don't want you to do that. That would be kind of gross. See if this works. Let's see. It would be so great if it did. I so well for Eminem's and Skittles. That was great. Lou, don't come over here with your shenanigans and bullshit. I don't want nothing to do with you. Musho Potamian Tablet. Why is where? Why is Wolfman? Oh, I guess I'm just not going to regain control. I'm just going to be just an animal. Uh -uh. Not sure, buddy. Wait, didn't I get something for going through a full moon? Wasn't that? What's that? No, it's a, that was something. Hmm. I swear there was something that I got for um. Oh my god, Marco. We don't just pee anywhere. Well, I mean, you did have to use the so I can't really blame you that much, buddy. No, Jackson's okay. Who was that? Oh, a blackberry bush. It is awfully eerie out here. I don't like this one bit. No other howls, that's weird. That's when it gets scared. One thing I have always believed in and always been told. The scariest thing when you're in nature is when it gets quiet. He howled, and I did not hear another wolf. And I believe that this is like the little werewolf bunker that they have here. Um, oh, we're just finding all kinds of goodies tonight. Maria Volkov. What? Three hours? It's going to be 6 a.m. by then. I have to wait until the... Mm, Got to wait until the sun rises. true. Y'all, here go the werewolf dog named Fish. A dog named Fish. I just realized that. Fix it, Jesus. Please. 
please, Marco, I beg of you. <gasps> he did it! You did it! Oh, my baby got a headache. I'm so sorry. And you stink. <laughs> You got a headache in here, stinky. Yeah, I'm so so sorry. We gotta figure this out for Jackson. That's what. Touch your wolf out. Get in the house where you get bit. Oh wait. <clears throat> Already a werewolf. Um. Since you have this weird temperament, which we will. We we will figure that out because uh, I'm not gonna deal with it. <laughs> Does not want children right now. I love that for you, baby. Love it for you. Let's keep it that way for a little bit. Um. Oh wait, huh? Got another marketing copy that I can send to the client for approval. I love that. Um. Decipher this engraving. Jackson, baby, please tell me that whenever I see you again, you won't be a dog. Oh my lord. That was something. I didn't think my baby was going to come back. Their romance bar is literally full. Let's go, Marco. Love that. Wise wolf man. I have a feeling this has something to do with um, Christopher. The sort of thing. Not you marrying a human. Makes you wonder. Because, um, those relationships are a big no no. Um, uh oh. Oh, that's a lot of reading. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's get this read. My Shupatamian. Okay. Tablet, wise wolfman, in your readings you learned that many moons ago the land we now know as Moonwood Mill was actually home to a small ancient my Shupatavians from the Patavian city. Jesus Christ. Interestingly enough, they believed that the greatest minds of their society were reborn as wolves that stored their wisdom in the moon via howl. As the cycle progressed towards the full moon, the growing light represented more and more stored a uh, uh, more and more stored wisdom. On full moon nights, my Shumopotamians would uh, sport wolf-like masks and ceremonially draw upon the moon stored wisdom. As the cycle then progressed to a new moon, the light leaving the moon each night represented the stored wisdom slowly dispersing to the people. As the first modern werewolves, M Moonwood Mill's mooncasters likely gleaned much of their information on harnessing the moon's powers from studying them. Huh. Chad, we're learning all the deeds. Um, like I said, I know about this one here. I don't know if you guys do, but I do. Wait a minute, do they like fit together? It'd be kinda cute if they did, but you know, anyways. I'ma shut up. Then I want you to decipher this one as well. I think that's that's it. Wouldn't it be funny if he was able to use the broom? Or 
really need to say. Just Jesus, Jackson, babe, J Jackson, baby, come back, Jackson. Oh my god! Oh my god! Why is my bill so high? Chatham be broke. All right, Jackson, be careful, baby. Don't do anything I want to do. Oh, who in the hell is that? Baby. Is this a werewolf with child? Is this a werewolf with facial hair? I have so many questions and not a single answer. Anyways, um... <laughs> So many questions. Oh, I wasn't able to get it. Dang it. It's alright. Did I tell you to... In what? Oh, did you do both of them that quick? Okay. Hold on. Traces of the glowing water of Lake Lundvik are present on this shard. A wolf's body, a wolf, the a wolf's body is painted on the outside. The paint faintly shimmering with the unmistakable glimmer of moon petal pollen. Oh, the moon casters must have used the uh, the water transported in this pot to cultivate the legendary moon petal bloom atop the Howling Point. Of course, such a magically infused plant would require such powerful water to sustain it and likely still benefits from its proximity to the lake to this day. Mm -hmm. And then we have this canine familiar figurine, Brutus. The wolf figurine has a name engraved on its base, Brutus. You recall, oh my god, look, you and this holding on to nothing is driving me Absolutely insane. Please. We finish this last marketing copy so we can uh, pay these bills. The wolf figurine has a name engraved on his base, Brutus. You recall from your werewolf studies that this was the wolf familiar of Greg Lundvik, one of the original Mooncasters. Oh! <gasps> Woo! I don't know which one to choose. Mm. Honestly, and I'm going to be completely honest, because Marco has such a hard time with the moon, as he always has, I like he would go with Cure Seeker. Now, this is only temporary. It could change. I'm probably going to change it anyways. Because, you know. In fact, I'm probably going to anyways. Because now I believe that we have, yeah, see, we have all of these. So if he decides that he wants to do the cure, then we can do that. But for the time being, of course, he won't find it. As if we haven't found it already. But, um, uh, Fanged Friend. Fanged Friends get a, an additional bonus to their relationships with both werewolves and non werewolf sims. Love that. Okay, let's read this finally. Okay, Brutus was a fearsome alpha wolf with fangs and claws sharper than any of his peers or predecessors. After mooncasters imbued themselves with the energy of their familiars, they adopted their traits and aptitudes. Thanks to Brutus, Greg developed an unusually high aptitude for pushing the limits of fury and a knack for winning fights. That's amazing. Where is my... Don't make me grab the leash. 
Gonna act like a wild animal, I'm gonna treat you like one. Oh. <laughs> he said, no, you won't. Uh -uh. Jackson, it'd be nice if you came back to his baby. Is you another, uh, another werewolf? I know how to figure it out. Yep. When I see this right here, it tells me everything I need to know. I actually want to get a, um, um, well, no, I don't think that I really need a mod for that. Oh, well, there she goes. I wonder if Wolf's Bane, like, actually hurts the werewolves. This one is going to be Wolves Bay 6 Special Edition. No, I'm not going to do a special edition. I'm sorry, I have to. Jackson. Oh, I can't control him. Damn it. I can't do anything with him in that form currently. I will literally have to go into his household. And well. Supposed to hang out later. I can't hang out with him if he's running around like this. Hey, yo, the dog got through its first full moon. No, let's go. Ma'am, are you. Mrs. Ma'am, is you a werewolf? Bro, how many werewolves has this game made? Like, I'm genuinely curious. We're just gonna say that they just passing through. They heard that Moonwood Mill was one of them that, one of them towns that kind of, you know, you pass through it, you're good to go. And to think, I was going to use the money that he got from finishing this little freelance gig here. I was going to use his money to get a new freaking computer. <laughs> Man! That means we got to work double hard. Got to do overtime. It's fine. It's whatever. Okay, let's see. Can we get big monies? Let's go. We can pay our bills and have two hundred dollars left. Maybe. Oh, Jackson. Um, why did I go there? Child, which bills is cheaper? Because I'll pay the cheaper one. I guess two hundred and seventy dollars. The perks of adulting. I'll tell you what. You know what we haven't done in a while? We haven't jumped in the dumpster. Get in the dumpster. Let's see if we can find something ghouly. A coffee table. A geekon. Oh, honey, where are you going? <laughs> honey! Where are you going? He said, to your house. 
Are you going to that pond? Oh, okay. Well, just walk on in. You got a key. I wish that they could, like, discuss, like, feelings, like, during the full moon and stuff. I think that'd be really, really cool. Oh, it's empty? Oh, it is empty. I found a whole bunch of nothing. Okay, no, that's not his to sell. you to create a copy of this. Go. Now. And give it to him. That was so cute. Oh, where is it? There it is. Actually, no. Is it that one? Or... I'm confused. There you go. Wash, Oh, you like the yay. That's sweet. <laughs> Do a cartwheel. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Y'all flirting, flirting. Wait. Oh. What is Jack Jackson? Get out of that pond, please. Jesus Christ. Every time I look up, you're splashing in the pond. Get out of it. Oh my lord. Wow. Okay. That was something. I love how y'all have just full everything. Give me like, are you okay? I know last night was kind of hard. So, um, oh, oh okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Uh, but main reason that he came over is because, you know, since they didn't get to really hang out last night, they get to hang out, well, yesterday, they get to hang out today. He's like, you know, ready whenever you are. Because Jackson has a little surprise. He's got some something up his sleeve, something special he's done for Angelo. And we're about to go see what it is. Okay, you guys, we are here, and Jackson set up a little picnic for him and Marco. Um, I am playing as Jackson, just as a heads up. Um, Jackson pretty much just wanted to... He pretty much wanted to show Marco that he's serious about him, because he talked with Evelyn. Um... There was something that was, uh, you know, he was pretty much telling him, well, he was telling Evelyn about the whole, you know, 
possibility that Marco could be his fated mate and this had a third and Evelyn was kind of like what is a fated mate and he was like I don't know but I've heard of it and I've heard that whenever you find this person it's just bliss and happiness and you're always wanting to be around them you're always wanting to be you know you all you pretty much make them your world and that's pretty much what I'm feeling with Marco and she said okay well you know she she kind of helped him set up the the little this cute little date I guess you could call it that she had a picnic basket that she gave him this blanket is originally Jackson's um the speaker the flowers it's just it was really really cute but Evelyn did a little bit of research and she pretty much told him, you know, if your fated mate, you know, rejects you, then you will die. And he's like, I, I don't think that Marco would do something like that because, you know, I mean, have y'all seen the way they react? Did they interact? Anyways, um, I don't know what, what snow... Oh, y'all are not in your outfits. Change now. This one. No, oh, look at him. Oh, he's so cute. They're so cute. I don't care what anyone says. They're, they're cute. Marco put his hair up. I think he's cute. Oh, this is so cute. And this is like it is from Love Shrek. He made them BLTs. Can you talk with him while you guys eat? Please. Yeah, please. Um, love my kiss. They're so cute. I love the whoa. Um, he's like, My, oh, my. Um, I guess we can do this so you know you know what he feels about you even though I can tell you now it's insane that man like you <laughs> whoa, buddy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um. Did y'all just eat all eight of those? Super duper cute. Oh, I thought that we could. What are you talking about, butter? What the hell? <laughs> Telling me like you look great. Oh, is it because they're doing the whole setup picnic thing? Oh, listen, y'all. I'm, I'm. This is like a supernatural love struck kind of thing. Cause I, I'm, I'm. Oh, snuggle. 
Is it compatible personality? Is it formed a positive impression towards him? Oh. They're so cute! I love them 3000. What is this? What is this? Oh. Boy! Make up your mind when it comes to Rory. Do you like her? Do, do, do you want to be friends with her? Or do you dislike her? Which one? Wait a minute. Do you want children? Okay, you're neutral about it. Okay. I will say... Um... Marco's whole thing about children is that he doesn't want them to... He doesn't want them to deal with the whole werewolf thing. That's one of the reasons why he's so iffy about it, but you know. Yeah, there's that. Um, there is an easel here. Because I wanted Jackson to paint Marco. Just, just as a little, a cute little eh. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go through it and I'm gonna find out it's like super cute pose. Like, I'm gonna use uh, the Wonderful Whims. I'm telling y'all, if y'all don't have Wonderful Whims in your game, 10 out of 10. It is great with the pose player. Um, I feel like that would be cute, Marco. Okay, but I need you to turn around, baby. <laughs> turn around. Like, when I tell y'all, this is great. I love it to never ten. Um, uh, disable. Um,. Oh, I can't even pay for my reference? Ugh. Oh, never mind. That's stupid. Um. What are you doing? I'm going to go get water for some reason. Okay. Well. Um. And you're going to go get water. Everybody just wanting to get water. Oh, it's a park ranger. Remember, sir, only you can prevent forest fires. Or only you can start forest fires. Either one. Leave that man alone. All right, regroup. Now. We didn't get to paint him like we wanted to. And I think it would be really, really cute for them to do their little intimate slow dance. I thought that was super, super cute of them to do. They're so cute! And I think Jackson would definitely... Jackson would do it. Jackson's gonna do it. Child, four episodes in and they're already together. This wasn't supposed to happen until like episode like 12, 13. But hey, I did not expect the whole Faded Mates thing to to happen and I had notes about the Faded Mates already written down. They're cute. You can't tell me otherwise. 
Thanks, Oppenheimer. Jackson, what is that on your shoe? <gasps> Their fingers interlaced. Oh my god. Listen, if y'all don't have this kiss and grind mod, please get it. Oh. A real Casanova, huh? Oh my god, they've been out here for hours. <laughs> Where did that little... There was a woodland creature that ran over here and I have no... You know what? Ain't got nothing to do with me. I think that this is really the part where they... The, this this was it. We're not volunteering with anyone. Jesus, let him breathe, Jackson. No, Jesus. <laughs> Chad, if Cupid's corner, don't leave me alone. Also, I found this really, really cute necklace. And I think it I think it really fits him. You light up the room. You always get the best compliments. Oh. Okay, it is also 9 p.m. So, um... Marco, baby, what are you doing? <gasps> oh, I think Marco's heading home. Okay. Well, Marco, thank you for coming. You, sir, have a lot to pack up. <laughs> so, um, it's best you get started. Oh... Oh, he already left. That's something they could have done. <laughs> I'm gonna end the episode here because this is just, this is everything, and I love this so much. Um, Jackson finally did it. He. It's not that Evelyn had, uh, it's not that, that she had doubts about, um, she didn't have doubts about Marco and uh, about the, the whole uh, situationship or whatever was going on between Jackson and Marco. She didn't have any doubts about that at all. She... Uh, simply was worried because if things didn't work out then you know whoever rejected whoever was the person being rejected would have died and it could have been marco it could have been jackson and she didn't want to lose either one of them but i think that now this really solidifies them and i think that everyone's going to be really, really happy about that because she she loves jackson Loves him like a big brother. She loves Marco just like a big brother. So her having that dynamic with them too is definitely amazing. So with that being said, I hope you're having a good day and night depending on when and where you are watching this. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out. Share with a friend, family member, or anyone who you think would enjoy my content. Oh, excuse me. Um, please, please, please stay safe. Halloween is right around the corner. I do not want anything happening to any of my lovely people. Please, please, please stay safe. Um, please stay hydrated. Drink your water. 
Um, drink your water. That's all I can say. I've heard uh, quite a bit of stories around of people that are just kind of neglecting drinking water and they're having they're getting dehydrated heat strokes and all that even though even though there is cooler weather among us if you're still doing activities like sports and you're outside for extended periods of time please 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 stay hydrated and last but not least stay kind until next video bye guys (music) Thank you.